about the children to ignore is so easy so many innocent children who choose the wrong way or what about the children who are just born to the wrong freaking people Uh. and if not for those who loved us this is a horrible horrible story and I hate to give it to y'all like this but it is what it is a 32 year old mother so go with me good morning good afternoon good evening family welcome I'm welcoming y'all to this crazy house okay the narcissist house the untreated personality disorder government house that produces individuals like this. A 32-year-old mother in Ohio will spend the rest of her life behind bars for killing her 16-month-old daughter who died of starvation and dehydration after being left home alone for more than a week while the mother went on vacation in Puerto Rico. I, 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 I can't make this up. Koya Hoga County Court of Common Pleas Judge Brendan J. Sheenan on Monday ordered Kristen Candelario to serve a sentence of life without the possibility of parole in the 20. 20- 23 death of young Jalen Candelario. God damn. Candelario last month formally pleaded guilty to one count of aggravated murder and one count of uh, endangering the life of a child in her daughter's heinous death. This, what the? Sheehan said that the sentences. Candelario to die in prison. He said he was sentencing her to die in prison just like she did to her daughter. But said the only difference is that you, your case, you at least somebody going to feed your ass and give you liquids, which you denied her. Oh, my God. Live footage of the hearing was streamed by a Cleveland NBC affiliate. WKYC. The sentence came after emotional testimony from several of the individuals involved in the uh, investigation into Jalen's death. Dr. Linda Mooney, a forensic pathologist and deputy county medical examiner who performed an autopsy on Jalen, addressed the court Monday morning, describing Jalen's death as one of the most tragic and unfortunate cases of her career. Mooney went on to say that Jalen was brought into the medical examiner's office. She weighed only 13 pounds, which meant that the toddler had lost more than 7 pounds since her mother's previous doctor's appointment two months earlier. Why did you leave her? Her eyes were sunken and she had a temporal wasting in her face. Mm -mm -mm. She also noted that Jalen had an abundance of fecal matter on her hands, feet, and in her mouth, and cake to her teeth, indicating that the child was ingesting her own waste. The cause of death was determined to be starvation and severe dehydration due to pediatric neglect. The doctor's voice began to get shaky. As he discussed the physical hardships Jalen suffered during the stretch that she was left alone to die. My God. In the absence of a more advanced decompositional changes, I believe that the pain and suffering that she endured lasted not only for hours, not days, but possibly even a week. This is a pain that comes from extreme thirst and hunger. It also stems from an inherent terror that isolation or an inherent lack of someone present to provide that for you. 
This feeling of abandonment for days on end, coupled with the pain of starvation and extreme thirst, is the type of suffering I don't think any of us could ever really fully fathom. Prosecutors told the court that they had made several attempts to reach out to Jalen's extended family, emphasizing that absolutely no one had returned a call or done anything to even acknowledge that Jalen was a part of their family. Oh. Oh, poor baby. As such, the state said that the courtroom was filled with law enforcement personnel that worked on the case and had come to the uh, to act on Jalen's behalf. Two detectives with Cleveland Police Department addressed the court. The visibly emotional Sergeant, Sergeant Teresa Gomez of the department's homicide unit said, Jalen died a long and agonizing death, afraid and alone, while her mother enjoyed the beach and sunshine. This is a case that myself and all the people behind me and everyone around the world will have branded in our hearts and our minds forever. Speaking her on her own behalf, Candelero told the court that she was extremely hurt about everything that had happened, but added that nobody knew how much I was suffering and what I was going through, and that God and my daughter have forgiven me. In handing down the sentence, she had alluded to the members of law enforcement who showed up to the sentences hearing and Dr. Mooney's testimony before can telling Candelero, you committed the ultimate act of betrayal, leaving your baby terrified, alone, and unprotected, and to suffer the most gruesome death imaginable with no food, no water, no protection, and lying in her own feces. Damn. The evidence I've witnessed before this court shows that you simply chose not to be there for your daughter simply because you wanted to have fun. You decided you needed a vacation, and what followed was absolute depravity. Why didn't you just take her with you? I mean, Damn. He continued to berate Caldelario, telling her that she could have saved Jalen with a simple phone call, but chose not to. Rather, he said, Candelario allowed Jalen to stay trapped in a tiny prison that you left her in. Damn, what a nutcase. Why don't you just take her? Instead, I see photos of you on the beach while your child was eating her own feces in an attempt to survive. It didn't look like you were too concerned about your child. As previously reported, crime and law officers with the Cleveland uh, Police Department and Emergency and Medical Services uh, responded to a call around 8 a.m. on June 16th regarding a dead baby, later identified as Jalen. In, a res in the residence in the 3100 block of West 97th Street, the caller said that sh she was the mother of the child and she came home and found her child unresponsive. What the fuck? She was declared dead and investigators found no signs of trauma, but Jalen was extremely dehydrated. Jalen's pack and play bin found uh, police found in in her plaque and play blend. Blah, 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 blah. Police found soil blankets and a bottom liner, and they said it was saturated with urine and feces. Caldelaro confessed to leaving the toddler alone while she went on a vacation for ten days. The incident report states that by Caldelaro's own admission, she revealed that she left her at home all alone and unattended from June 8th to June 16th while she was vacationing in Puerto Rico and Detroit, Michigan. Damn. I don't understand this. The toddler remains were sent to the medical examiner's office for an autopsy and further examination. The medical examiner determined that the child had been left alone, unattended, and for approximately 10 days and subsequently died. I don't understand how somebody could be so damn cruel. 
what the what have y'all heard this story i mean what in the hell is wrong with y'all and then y'all want to know why i call this the mental house really really y'all are have gone mad people have gone mad and it's just that simple ain't nothing you can say to convince me otherwise it's a nut house oh my god oh my lord she done starved a little girl to death. Oh, Jesus. Uh, all right, y'all. What say you about this nut? Why don't you think she had any family members that will come to even see about the kid? What What is going on with us? As so-called human beings. I don't know. What say you? If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Oh, man.